Okay, so welcome to the video. These are my pimples. Let's get rid of them in After Effects. I'm gonna show you three ways, by the way, on how you can do it. Before we start with techniques, all of them share the same step, which is tracking the pimples in Mocha. Open up Mocha. Now you're in Mocha, right? So select one of the X-Spline tools. Now make circles around all your pimples. Then go down, change the minimum percent pixels used to 90 or something around 90 and click on track. Now wait for the track. A few moments later. I'll save it. So now create AE masks and we have my pimples. They look like nipples. Now I'll just change the modes to subtract. And now I have a hole in my face. Amazing. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so let's start with the first technique, which is the best one. It's the easiest one. It doesn't work every time, but when it works, it's awesome. And also, uh, don't skip the video. What we do now is we duplicate the video and on the bottom video, we'll get rid of the masks. And now we pretty much have the same thing as we started, right? So what if I just click on the bottom video and I just move it a tiny bit? Okay, something like this probably works better. There you go. And I'll click on the masks and I'll just change the feather a tiny bit, maybe like 10 pixels and here. 10 pixels as well and boom we have fixed it there you go so no more pimples okay so the second technique is with after effects building content aware view i don't i don't love it it's not my favorite choice but sometimes it works and it might work for you so i obviously tried it on this footage already and i found out that from the few methods edge blend works the best maybe for another case the other methods could work better but I honestly feel like for skin, Edge Blend works best. So you just select Edge Blend, you click on your video, and now you click on Generate Fill Layer, and that's all. And you've got to wait for After Effects to calculate. It starts analyzing, and then it actually calculates and makes uh, another layer, which is called Fill. And on this Fill Layer, it pretty much fixed your pimples, but it's not working as well as you might think. When you look at it from far, it might look fine. So that's why I'm saying, it's still a viable option, it looks fine, but it's not the best way because first of all, like at least in this case, I get a bit of flickering here and also obviously it's like you can see the flickering, but also I feel like the biggest problem is being so blurred. So you can try and probably add some noise and try to like add some texture, which might work, but in my opinion, it's too blurred, but it works. I'm not saying it doesn't work. Probably nobody will notice that it's blurred, but you know. The third technique actually works in a lot of cases and it works pretty well. For this one, I'll duplicate the video. Then I'll select the masks and I will change the mode to add. Okay, so here the nipples again. And on the bottom one, let's remove the masks. And now we have just the pimples on the top layer. Okay, so we're pretty much gonna blur them out, but while blurring them out, we're gonna try to add some texture to them. So they're not that blurred as with the content aware view. Let's first add a vector blur, change the mode to constant length. And now you need to play around with the settings on the vector blur. You can also pause the video and see what settings I've used. After the vector blur, add Gaussian blur, put it at three to 5%, and then at the end, add some noise and noise around three to 5% again. This should be enough. Now you've removed the pimple, you've added a bit of blur so you can like blur it out a bit more and then brought back some texture with the noise. It might not be 100% perfect all the time, but in some cases, this is the best technique that you can use. You can see that when I turn it off and on again, it's a pretty big change. Check any of the three techniques, see which one works best for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.